Hello, folks, and welcome to the next edition of The Sounding Board. Today, we're going to talk about Torok, Issue 1, released by Dynamite. Most of us know Torok as the character we played in the Nintendo 64 game, Torok, Dinosaur Hunter, which in the game is Torok's son, not Torok himself. But Torok started out as a comic book. His first appearance was in Four Color Comics 596, and his second appearance was 656. Then, in 1956, Torok, Son of Stone, became a comic published by Dow Comic. The series lasted until 1982. Then it was finished publishing the run of the series by Golden Key Comics. But the final 30 issues of the series were printed by Whitman comics and that is issues 126 to 130 some collectors may have these in their collection but these are more for older collectors most of the people who would have them would most of them have the 90s run from valiant like other whitman and golden key comics under jim shooter's command valiant rebooted characters like magnus the robot fighter Dr. Solar and other Whitman Golden Key characters and brought them up to the present day and either reinvented them or rebooted them altogether to a newer audience, but kept the integrity of what made these characters. This series of Torox st started in 1992 and had an, a 52-issue run. Then Dark Horse acquired the rights of the Golden Key Whitman characters and brought their rendition of the characters to the to the big comic book shelves which were all short-lived because they didn't have the feel or the atmosphere that the Valiant comics had. Then after Dark Horse's attempt at Torok and the Golden Key characters they were all put to rest until they re-emerged in 2014 with a new series from Dynamite Entertainment. This time the series is wrote by Greg Pak. So Dynamite reinvented the character for a new generation keeping dinosaurs and indians but reinventing the idea of torok for a new generation now after the 2014 12 issue run of torok he now returns again to the comic book shelves this time wrote by chuck windig this series of torok is a whole different it's actually a whole reboot the art is beautiful in it. The story was kind of lackluster. And it made me miss the Valiant era of Torok. The beautiful Bart Sears art for one thing. Because how can you not enjoy a Rambo-esque Torok? And now we're getting a whole new rendition of Torok. Which is more like from the Land of the Lost this time. I read through this issue and I found it kind of blah. I found the art was beautiful, the art was entertaining, but the story left me wanting more. Not making me desire to read issue two, and halfway through it I'm going, hmm, there's something missing here. There's action, there's adventure, there's dinosaurs, but there was no attachment to the character, no feeling of wanting me to draw more into getting into the comic book stores just to buy issue two. I'm not sure what Dynamite might have planned for this character or this rendition of Torok. We would have to stay tuned and find out. But this is the sounding board signing off.